go to the fog folder, open it up, then uh, you're going to want to copy this fog service folder onto, onto your client. I've already done so. And I'll show you what to do with this. You'll go to the fog service, open up bin, and then click on setup. So once you get through that, you'll have a fog service uh, running on your computer. And this will allow for automatic domain joining. Um, I've already installed everything that I want to have on this computer. Um, so once you have everything that you're going to want for all your users, uh, you can go ahead and run the sysprep command. I've also created an unattend file that's on the root of my C drive. This will basically make it, uh, it'll tell it, you know, your time and it will have already, um, it will fill in any uh, commands or uh, questions it has for you during install. Now while that's this prepping, you can, uh, you can add your computers to the um, host management section if you haven't already done so. Um, and when you add these computers to your host management they have uh, a section on the left here for Active Directory you're going to want to click on that and add your domain name uh, and then a user that will be able to add computers to the domain my server the fog server now you're going to want to boot this up into uh, BIOS and change it to a network boot. Now you're going to want to also make sure that you add the computer to, uh, or the client to the domain beforehand. I forgot to mention that uh, when I was doing that first part. Now I'm going to show you how to schedule tasks on the FOG server. You're going to go to all your hosts. Um, when you click deploy image, you're going to want to click right here where it says schedule C-R-O-N style task execution. And then um, it's kind of self-explanatory, the different elements of this. So let's say you want to do this at 2 in the morning or 2.15 in the morning. Um, and this is also in the 24-hour format of time, not the... 12 a.m. 12 p.m. format. Um, then you know, I'm pretty sure this one said day of the month, and then this one is month, and this last one is day of the week. So we'll go ahead and do this at seven. So um, anything blank, you're gonna want to put a star in there, an asterisk, and uh, this basically will say um, schedule this task to be executed at 2:15 in the morning. Um, on Sunday, the last day of the week, and I can go ahead and click image all computers, and then the task has been scheduled. If we come back here, it tells you the runtime when the sketch, the task is scheduled to be uh, executed, and I'm going to go ahead and also uh, just deploy this image right now as well. starting to load up. I had to restart. There we go. Go ahead and switch user. Let's see it's on the domain. And see that it is on the domain asynchronous.com. So now I'm going to begin uh, showing you how to do the workaround for using uh, Clam AV on Fog. You're going to want to remove the um, Calm AV or Clam AV that gets installed uh, with Fog. 
Then once that's removed, you're going to want to add a new repository for uh, Clam AV. Um, but once you have the repository added, you're going to do uh, an app get install Clam AV. Once it's installed, you're going to want to run fresh fresh clam, all one word. And this updates your uh, databases and everything. Alright, all mine are everything's up to date. Uh, so after you update and uh, add the rest rep repository and everything, you're going to want to edit a uh, text file called FreshClim. And this will be under uh, etc uh, calm clam av and then fresh um, dot config. Now I have already edited mine, unless it changed when I updated it, which it will have. And you're going to want to. Add a oh you're gonna to want to edit scripted updates. Yours should say um, yes. You want to change this to no, and then just save that. And that's all you have to do to that file. And then you're gonna to want to change directories to tftp boot slash fog images. And you're going to want to run gun zip on int.gz. And you're going to want to make a directory named int mount directory. I believe I already have one. And then you're going to want to mount this. forgetting one bit in that command have to type int before this okay so now it's mounted now I'm gonna want to edit this file a file in here one second I gotta find the name of it or the location of it all right under TFTP boot. Fog images. Let's, see, let's find the... We want to find the fresh clam dot config file inside of this directory we have here. Edit this file. Paste the directory location. Be fresh clam dot config. And now I've already done this, but you're gonna want to add this line here. It will be database mirror, and then you put in your uh, the IP address of your fog server. And then you're also going to want to add uh, scripted updates no. 
at the end of it here. So once you have that done, you can save it. So we're going to unmount this. just want you mount and then our um, directory and mount directory. and now we're going to zip it back up change directories to for slash www and we're going to want to edit or uh, I'll end some lines Um, this should work. It might not be able to do this because I've already created these links. But these are where you're going to want to create links to. Yeah, it, it can't create the the link because it already exists. Um, so let's see here. I'll show you my client machine. Actually, we have to schedule a task so that it can uh, scan. So we'll go here, task management. So we're going to want to go to task management. I'll list all hosts. And click on advanced deployment. Go to antivirus. And go ahead and do shutdown after completion. Click scan host. And it's queued up. So let's go ahead and restart this one. do is I've run into this error almost every time. It will begin to uh, take the databases from uh, my FOG server and download them to the image. Um, and the databases are the definitions of uh, the viruses and whatnot. So uh, it tries to download these and it gets about to 80% here and for some reason says it cannot complete uh, downloading these. So it just keeps throwing this error. I've opened up a uh, um, thread on their form to try and uh, figure out what was wrong with my computer, uh, the way I'm going about this, and they say it's uh, something they have in uh, a work in progress for the next update to come out with FOG. So 
just have to keep posted on that.